All right. Welcome back to Resident Evil 7. In this video, we've got a whole new area to explore. First off, we got this little trailer that we're in right now. Uh, there's quite a few things to pick up in here. First of which being this bra. Maybe it's Zoe's. I was kind of hoping that there was going to be like something funny inside. Like maybe they hid like a really important item inside of it. I think that would have been funny. Let's see, what's the over under on this being a normal refrigerator? All right, that's that's two normal refrigerators we've seen so far, and I, I think four in total, two of which have had goop in them. It's another weird, like Photoshop-looking picture. It's too late for them. My body's feeling. My body's feeling weirder and weirder. Soon I'll become like mom and dad. It's all her fault. Should I run? No, I can't. I'm dead if she finds out. The woman she was with, Mia, knows something. If I had the serum, I could cure myself. I have to find out more. Um, and like I said in the last video, here's another TV where you could play like VHSs. If you want, you could take Mia's tape out and put it back in there and replay it. I don't know why you'd want to, but it's something you can do. Uh, anyway, like I was saying in the last video, I think for now, I'm going to ignore the Magnum. Uh, all the other times I've played, I've kind of went for the Magnum first. However, this time, I'm going to go for the, the steroids first. Just boost our health up a little bit, why not? Let's grab the antique coins. This is a cool way of doing this. It, it makes more sense than, like... Well, I guess combining the herbs and then refilling your maximum health was a, a good way of doing it in, like, Resident Evil 4 and 5, in my opinion. Uh, but this is this is a cool way to do it, like, kind of classic style. If, if you could increase your maximum health in the older games, I could see this being the way that you do it. And then, uh, I don't know who would ever want that. I don't care about the stabilization of my gun. And then I might as well just start popping the rest of them in here. Because that is just what I'll get after this. And I think that's pretty much it for here, but we should get a phone call. No? No phone call? Oh, yes phone call. Yellow yeah, Ethan Winters. You made it. You're the first I've ever seen make it this far. So what is it you need me to do? Is it going to help me get out of here? Yes. Now listen carefully, Ethan. My family and I, our bodies are contaminated. I can't leave the property unless I get it out. And the same goes for Mia. Is there a way to get it out? We need the serum. It should clear whatever this stuff is out of the body. As long as you're not too far gone. <sighs> All right. So where is it? If I knew where one was, I'd already be long gone. But I have a feeling my mother has hidden some inside the old house somewhere. So if we get this thing, I can help me and we can get out of here? Right. And so can I. The old house is near the water. You can't miss it. All right. I just hope you can handle my mother. Your mother? Be careful. They'll be looking for you. Okay, so... Now we have our objective for, you know, this little bit of the game. However, we are going to head back into the old house and kind of do some cleanup because there's a bunch of stuff we could do right now. I think there's an antique coin around here actually too. There's an herb. Should be an antique coin, right? Yep, there you go. And then there's also something very, very important around here. Um, I never remember where this is. Is this it? It's this one, gotcha. This took me a little while to find, too. Thankfully, I'm the kind of guy who, um... I think the reason why I took so long the first time I played this game was oh god damn it was because I'm I'm the kind of guy who who will examine every single 
bit of what is that? Of an area before I move forward. So this is the repair kit, gun repair kit to be more specific. We can use this on the broken handgun. Well, technically we could use it on the broken handgun or the broken shotgun that we placed in there. Uh, I'm going to use it on the handgun because I use the handgun more frequently. Um, doo -doo -doo. There we go. And then, I guess I should just, just waste ammo, right? It, I do believe it carries, yeah, it carries less ammo. So I guess I'll use this until the, these bullets run out. And then I'll put this guy away. This, it, this one's stronger. That's the, the trade-off. So anyway, now I'm gonna head into the house again and just kind of do some cleanup. Alright, I think I'm good for now. It was mainly just a few antique coins. Uh, I thought I left a lot more in there than I did, but no, not really a whole lot of ammo or anything like that. We're pretty much good to go here. Before we go, let's just manage our inventory. Yeah, I'll just put those in here. There we go. Don't need a whole lot more of those. Also, in the beginning of the game, I don't really use the Magnum, which is why I don't really care. Like, I'd rather the, the health upgrade at this point. Um, I, do I need the Scorpion Key? I might. I should probably, at this point... Yeah, at this point the defense coins are kind of useless, because I now have two health upgrades. So I guess we should get things started. Who would put that there? Like, really? Oh, that's right. I gotta go this way. I'm so discombobulated. I'm so used to just going that way. Also, this outside area looks really nice. And yeah, this was another thing that... I, di I didn't watch a whole lot of trailers. I only watched the announcement trailer and some... You know, bits and pieces that the Resident Evil Facebook page posted on their... On their page. So I didn't know that there were more areas than just the old house. And I like that quite a bit. <clears throat> yeah, there are a lot of really cool surprises in this game for me. Uh, okay... Oh, that's nice. It's very nice. This part... Eh, like I said, it's not as good as the old house. But it's still fine. Also, this is one of those things that is actually kind of creepy to me, just because I dislike bugs. Um, what was the text of oh, this? February 8th, 1802, so this is very old. Oh no, this is the old house. What was the other one? I don't know. Looks like the plan for some sort of a flamethrower. This is going to be our short-term goal for in this area. And I am completely okay with that. She's upstairs. Don't go up. Oh, fuck, I forgot about this. See, areas like this is what makes me think this this is like pretty much just a soft reboot of like the original Resident Evil. Because this is almost exactly something that you do. Can I shoot that? No, I can't do anything about that. Wait, what do I do here? I don't remember. Because, yeah, you needed to gas the bugs out and everything like that. That was no fun. No. No. Go away. Oh, they're just following me. This is probably locked. Or not. I don't need that yet, so I'm not going to pick that up. I will take those. But yeah, I mean, in in a way, it's kind of like this game's not really all that creative because a lot of it is just from the original Resident Evil. Um, but it's all done in such a way that it doesn't feel exactly like Resident Evil. So I'm kind of, 
you know, okay with it. Oh, hey, cool. I don't want those anyway. Mm. Probably shouldn't have brought the scorpion key with me. I don't think I actually need it in here. Can't do anything there. Don't waste your ammo on these bugs. There's no point. I don't think they do a whole lot of damage to you. So it's just negligible. All right, there's a part for that. There's an herb and a giant ball. I'm going to want to get to over kind of that way because there's a save, save room over there. Oh, that's over where Mia hid in her tape. But I forget what activates the bad stuff in this part. So we got a map now. Um, no. This door might actually be locked. Nope. We do need to find this again because even though Mia opened it in her version, it's not accessible in ours for whatever reason. Yeah, sure, why not? Chem fluid, don't really need it. And yeah, there was a part to the flamethrower here in Mia's tape. Oh, they threw it out. Burner grip. Alright, so I'm gonna deposit some stuff in here. Oh, thank god. I forgot this is where they put this. I can now carry more items. It's so goddamn useful in this game. You can go away, because I don't need you right now. I might as well just pop you away. That there. All right, that seems good enough. <clears throat> Anything else in here? This will be a really good video if I don't encounter any kind of spooky thing. Like there's bugs, but was there something behind the door? No, it was just that. But yeah, if I don't encounter any kind of enemy, that would be kind of unfortunate. Let's grab this. I'm probably gonna activate... I activated something. Oh! That's the dogs through the window of this game, I forgot. Please be something good. Eh. Whatever. I could do better. I think we still need one more part for this, because if it's just these two parts, that's kind of, like, anticlimactic. Oh, whoops. Oh, that's just it, okay. So yeah, as you would expect, this is used to get rid of the bugs. Namely, these little... kind of growths. Is this one? No, it actually doesn't look like it. There's nothing coming out of that one. Alright, so I'll ignore that one for now. Gotta get rid of these guys. It's very useful. Uh, however, there's not a whole lot of um, ammo for this. Am I doing the right thing? Should I not be attacking that? I think I just wasted a whole ton of ammo. Where was that fuel? Okay, so I definitely shouldn't have done that. I keep wasting ammo on them, even though I just said not to. Man, I'm having like all kinds of brain farts right now. Exciting gameplay. Did I kill it? You, you fuck. Go team. Where is there an area that I even need to clear? Ah. For one, there's right here. Oh, that's just great. How do I get more fuel? Because I don't think I actually did enough to that. No, I didn't. Okay, just gonna get out of here. I should have saved right before I started wasting all of my ammo. But there's probably more. 
I would hope so. If not, I'm kind of screwed. Okay, I completely forgot that you could shoot them. Oh yeah, thanks pal. Thankfully there's a chem fluid right over here. Oh, but I have to run through these guys again. This one, in the grand scheme of things, isn't all that important to get rid of. Because you could just kind of run by them, they'll attack you a little bit, but that's about it. So this one, I'd say is the more important one to get. And at least they give you a good, decent amount of ammo each time. Like, a hundred? That's pretty good. Next time I get a significant amount, or if I have enough left, um, from after I'm done over here, I'll just go and clear that area out. Are those shoes? Yeah, I already got it. Let me go get that other area. See, this area is so small. I mean, it opens up a little bit, but it's still pretty small. So there's a lot of running back and forth. However, I do need fuel to get in there. I wonder if I could use this. Nope. I mean, it should work, in theory. It's still fire. I should do a test to see which is stronger, the shotgun or the new handgun. No. I head this way. So I think this is progress. I still haven't triggered the new... Stalker. Uh, it's just gonna take up room now. Ethan? Ethan! No more bullshit, Mia. I want some answers. I know. I know, you're right. And I always wanted to tell you. But, but I just, I can only remember a little and the rest is just gone. <laughs> Dad, right? You mind if I uh, borrow Bobby for a little bit? Don't you stand there! Do something! Ethan, help! Damn it! I mean, Lucas had a point. I could have probably, like, done something there. God, it's so dark in here. I can't see anything. I assume, I'm gonna just have to assume that was the only thing I needed in there. Boop, boop, boo. Not going that way. Her facial expressions are so bad. Hey, you know what? Not cool, guy. I need to just go to that save area, like, prompto. <laughs> that was an accident. I just accidentally said prompto, which is a, uh, Final Fantasy 15 character instead of pronto. Okay, yeah, we're just gonna go to that little, little safe area over here, where hopefully the bad guys can't get us. I think I lost her, actually. Good riddance to bad rubbish. Sorry, I mean good, good riddance to bad lizards. Um, let's pop that away. Don't need that, that was a dumb accident. I do need that. Alright, so... I'm gonna go ahead and say that's, that's it for this video. Got exciting towards the end, that was about it. Uh, so anyway, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.